You're watching Prophetic Drive Time. I'm Eli Lasky. Let's get into this word. So the word for you today is don't let your love wax cold. Matthew 24, 12 says, because iniquity uh, shall abound, the love of many will wax cold. You know, we're living in a time where it's not easy, it's not easy to love. It's not easy to love uh, one another. And it's not easy to love even ourselves, you know? Um, we have, we're constantly bombarded with so, so many um, uh, different types of imagery and, and opportunities uh, to be offended are, are um, right, at, we carry that right in our hands, you know? And, and as a result, it's, 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 it's killing the love that we have. It's killing the love that we have. Now, there is uh, an amazing thing, uh, uh, amazing thing for us in this life that we're living in, in terms of our generation, right? Because on one hand, you know, we have, we're, we're post-Christ, so meaning we're walking in the grace. Uh, uh, we have access to the, to the uh, blessings of Abraham. We have, there's so many benefits, right? But unlike unlike in any other time the the the, the sense of decency and and and, um, uh, and moral uh, uh, standing and moral uh, compass is has degraded and it's eroding so while we at, at, at on one hand have the opportunity for like you know all the blessings the challenge the greatest challenge we face is in this generation that we're in, because we're in a wealthy time, the greatest uh, uh, opposition we face is, the challenge we face is to be able to fulfill that commandment that Christ uh, left us, which is to love. And you can tell how, how dark it's become when the church doesn't even set that as the priority anymore. Have you noticed that? When, when is the last time you've gone and, and really heard in-depth teaching on not only uh, uh, the importance of love, but why you should love and, and, and why it's really the only thing? That was the standing commandment that Christ left, that we are to love, not like and not love only those who are worthy of it, who are deserving of it, but that we are to love as a, 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 a nature, as a part of our nature, as a, a standing profession of our oneness with God. You see, John 4 says that God is love. You know, said he actually says this. It says, those who love are known of God and know God, right? And, and it says, if you don't love, if you love not, my brother, how could, how could God dwell with, dwell with you? Because God is love. And what he's saying there is that, how, how could you be one with God if you're not the same? You see, because God is this one thing called love. And if, if you're walking in opposition to that, then you have no, then you're foreign. Um, you're not of the same species. So there's no cause for intimacy. There is no way to, to engage. You're performing uh, 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 like a, uh, um, an unnatural act. You coming to God, uh, uh, not being in love or not walking into or, or or actually not coming to God but to uh, think that you're having a relationship with him but yet you don't have love as the primary point of emphasis in your life then that means you guys are are not synchronized see it takes a man and a woman to come together to bring forth a child right you know uh, a man and a cow and a man and right you know that's bestiality that means that's foreign that's that's a, that's an abomination because the two are not of the same kind and and John was simply saying is how could you say that you are the same kind and have intimacy with God when you're not the same thing God is clearly this and in order to for you to have intimacy with God you have to be clearly the same and that's why he said I command you to love the reason why the Lord gave us this commandment was so that we could have unobstructed intimacy with God and be a constant reflection of God's nature in the earth. That is the, that is the, the great commandment for our individual lives. We get caught up on uh, 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 the, the great uh, 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 
profession, a vocation, which is go out and preach the gospel. Go out and preach the gospel, the good news. But see, what happens is, is even the gospel becomes tainted when you're not rooted and grounded in love. Ephesians 3, he said, he said that you may be rooted and grounded, that you may be rooted in love, that you may know, that you may know the goodness and the, and the fullness of the Godhead bodily. You see, you're not even coming in contact with God until you submit yourself to love. Not submit yourself to pride, not submit yourself to how you feel, not submit yourself to how, what you believe is right. It, it doesn't matter. It's submitting yourself to love. Then what you have is, then what you have is, then what you have is, is a, 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 a level of, 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 of oneness, the potential for oneness, which is what the body of church is really supposed to be about. You know, we know that, that, that those who are in unbelief, they're going to, they're, they should be waxing. They're going to continue to wax cold. But you know what the problem is? Is that even the body is waxing cold. Even the body of Christ is waxing cold. We're, 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 we, we, have, we, we have substituted works and, uh, of love for the genuine thing. But the problem is, is that whether we give all of our uh, um, possessions, to sell them all and give to the poor, if we didn't do it in love, then we've done nothing. We could speak in tongues and prophesy and know all the mysteries and, and, and you know, and, and have all and speak with the tongues of angels and, and, and all these things. But without love, we're, the Bible says we're just making noise. Let me tell you something. Love is the most important thing. Thing. We have to guard that. We have to protect that. You know, in Matthew 24, the phrase, the phrase waxing cold means uh, uh, is, is the word suko, which is, which uh, uh, denotes a gentle blowing, but a constant blowing. You know, when you put something out, you just... And that's what it's doing. That's what life is doing. That's what people are doing every day when you get up and you drive in the street. People cutting you off and it's blowing. They're blowing on you when 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 you you, you uh, get home and 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 your your, uh, your mate, your significant other, your family members are 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 um, uh, uh, unpleasant, right? Just unpleasant. They're they're uh, strifeful and mean or whatever whatever complications. Or you get to work and and you're dealing with and you're dealing with people who are just being difficult for no reason they're blowing on you they're trying they're trying life is trying to get your love to wax cold but God said don't let your love wax cold glory to God you got to guard the flame of love you got to guard the flames of love you have to stoke them you have to you have to create the barrier that protects the flames of love why because that is your connection to God you see faith brings you to God faith brings you to God but love but love brings you into God oh my goodness glory to God love brings you into the into the sacred places into the holy of holies faith will get you to the temple faith will get you to the temple I acknowledge God but what is it to acknowledge God if you don't even understand who he is and without love, you don't know who he is. Then even your works that you do for God are not works at all because you don't know who he is. You'll find yourself off in some religious. You'll find yourself being seduced and, and, and led astray by these winds of doctrines because you're not rooted and grounded in love. Without love, there could be no understanding of who God is. And even if God was to reveal himself to you, you, he would do it through love. Oh, God. You know, the Bible says, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Because he so loved, he gave. His, his, his greatest act was commissioned by his, by his deepest, the deepest and truest part of his nature, which was love. We're standing in the place of grace even right now. Right, we're standing even in a place of, of grace right now because God, because of God's amazing love. When we shun love, we're shunning God. When we say love has no place in our lives, we're saying God has no place in our lives. 
and God is, 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 is calling us back to our first love. Stoke the fires again. Don't don't let the don't let the 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 the, the enemy the enemies of love the enemies of life come against your love. You see, it's it's very easy to get caught up in this thing where I will only love the ones who are lovely. But the Bible clearly says that uh, while we were yet in our sins, Christ died, which means while we were the most unlovable, God loved us. Oh, glory to God. You see, we couldn't get right. We couldn't do right. We couldn't get to a place where we could earn such a gift. You know, where we could earn such, such a response from God. We were not lovely. Glory to God. We were not lovely. We were filthy. We were, we were flawed. We were in our mess. But it was God's love. Glory to God. And many of you, glory, here it is. And many of you have not experienced the transformation you need because you've been busy trying to get perfect to want God's love, but you'll never arrive. So God is telling you right now to stop trying to work for his love, but you receive his love and his love will begin to transform you. Change your desire. Change your heart. Change your want for things that are up that oppose him it's got to be it's got to be rooted and grounded in love glory to God so I'm telling you today in the name of Jesus you got to forgive somebody you got to you got to take somebody off the hook listen listen everybody is don't wait for everybody to become lovely for you to love because the love of many is waxing cold which means there people are going to be more unlovable than ever before glory to God but you still should not be the one violating the commandment of your Christ glory to God you have to love in spite of because I'm not loving you based upon who you are I'm loving you based upon who I am glory to God and the real followers of Christ will understand and amen this. I'm not loving you because you are lovely. Because the Bible says that even the sinners know how to do that. Even the fallen know how to do that. You know, they'll be kind to somebody who's kind to them. They'll be good to somebody who's good to them, right? Even the unjust know, know this basic philosophy. How are, we, how are we supposed to be the above ones but walking like the unjust ones? Glory to God. Don't wait for them to be lovely for you to love them. You, what you have to first do is love them in spite of who they are. They not, may not be treating you right. Love on them. They may not, they, you know, they, they could have all these wicked ways and all these things. Love on them. It's time for you, it's time for me to represent Christ in this earth and not allow our love to wax cold because let me tell you something, I don't care what nobody say, love is the most important thing. Love is the greatest force in all of creation because it is love that brought this forth. It is love, the reason why, the way the, the, it is love. Love is why you see the sun rise every day, why you see the, why you see the trees still bloom, bloom and bring forth their blood, why you see the, why you see everything in creation obeying glory to God, its original commandment, it was love. It was love. Also that we could have the habitat. Now we are the ones who are destroying, who have put our hands on, uh, right? Who have no respect, no appreciation, no grace. It's, it's us going to war. That's not. That has nothing to do with creation. That has nothing to do with what God designed, God's design. It is so perfect. It is so meticulous. It is so perfect because he crafted it out of love. You understand what I'm saying? Let love be a reflection of who you are not whether or not people deserve it. Amen. God loves you. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, I pray, Father, that you bless those who are hearing this message, Father, that you charge their hearts, Lord, that by your Holy Spirit, you bring to remembrance, Father, their first love, Lord, that they not walk in opposition to your love, Father, because it's become now cool, because it's become now a theme or the way that we don't have to love those who are unloving, Father, hallelujah, but that you bring them back to your original commandment and to, and, and to bring them into to the knowledge that it is a commandment commandment glory to God it is a commandment that we love even in difficulties father that they may find the grace that teach them how to tap into the grace father to flow in love father to not be offended to not be offended or easily offended Jesus glory to God by the many opportunities that life presents us but they but teach them more how to keep themselves in your love thank you amen yes Lord so God is saying first you got to keep yourself in my love you got to know that I love you. Abide in my love. 
abide in his love. You got to be confident and you got to reassure yourself on a day to day that God loves you. God loves you with an unconditional, everlasting, unchangeable love. Keep yourself in his love. Abide in his love. Hallelujah. Glory to God that he may abide in you. Glory to God. Stay connected to the vine and you stay connected to the vine by love. His love for you, your love for him. And, 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 and exalt love again. Uh, this message is coming to exalt love, to lift love up to where it's supposed to be, to its highest point. Love is the highest point. It's time to exalt love again and make it purposeful. Make it a point of emphasis in your life and you will see uh, an experience with God. Some of you have, have been struggling with connectivity with God. And that's why a lot of people have left the church, to be honest with you, because they said it was dead. They said it was empty because after all the, uh, the, the messages on prosperity and money and all these things, they felt the emptiness. Why? Because they couldn't connect to the love of God. Why? Because it was not being preached and it was not being taught. Glory to God. God is love. And you cannot connect with God without it because he is love. Love. That's my word for you today. I'll do a follow-up uh, teaching and, and, and go more in depth. You know, we're working on a website right now where we're going to have uh, 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 certain uh, teachings that really uh, uh, elevate the body of Christ, that really take us into that that special place in God, that that special place in Christ, right? That allows us to grow and to, to really maximize not only what we have in life, but the quality of life what it means to be a follower of Christ, amen? And, and how do we get there? How do we enter first into the kingdom? You hear it all mentioned before, seek first the kingdom and his righteousness and all the things will be added for you, added to you. But people don't even know how to seek the kingdom, amen? So we'll get into that later on. I just wanna thank you for tuning in. God bless you all, I love you all with kingdom love. Until next time, I'm Brother Eli, peace.